Hello there, folks. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a new offering from Wargames Atlantic for their sci-fi Death Fields range. This time round, it's the little tiny sneak feats. Okay, so the Death Fields free agents, the first free agents, are the sneak feet. Uh, this box contains 24 sneaky little halflings in space. You will not see death coming unless you look down. Um, so, free agents for death fields are specialist teams. Um, it's interesting. Obviously, they're still pushing towards the death fields game coming. And this uh, seems to be a mercenary section that you can exploit depending on, or regardless of who you're actually fielding. If you're not playing with Deathfields itself, then this box contains six sprues. Each sprue will let you make four little tiny fighting halflings. Um, and you've got a choice of weaponry as well. So we can see here the layout. And on this side, you can see the heads a bit better. We have four large Barrett-like sniper rifles. And then a set of four big, chunky uh, machine guns or machine pistols. Could be Laz, I suppose, as well, depending on how you're feeling. Uh, a few additional extras on the sprue. Uh, so we have the important things like your machete, uh, a thermos flask, and a frying pan with eggs, uh, which is, you know, key, I feel. Uh, there's one backpack uh, with bedroll, which means you get six across the sprues. Um, and then headwise, most are wearing some form of peaked soft top, like a forage cap. Uh, a couple have got bandanas. Uh, a few are bareheaded. This guy's got a nice visor on. He's got a lovely little um, pipe and uh, what appears to be a ham hock there as well. So a few little bits and pieces to characterize and customize your sneak feet. If we take a look at some of the built versions then. All right, so starting off with some of our sniper rifles. Builds are very easy, just arms on. There's a nice chunky level of detail on the webbing. Um, so when it comes to painting, it should be relatively easy. Uh, I would suggest fitting the arms first before you try and add any additional equipment, um, grenades, pouches, machete, whatever it happens to be. I do like the little kneeling fellow. Knee isn't quite on the ground, so you'll probably want to um, model that so he's leaning on something. Uh, I think if you have him flat, so the knee is flat, then the, the foot kinks out too much, so glue those bits flat and then maybe have him on a bit of a mound. Good level of detail throughout, as I would expect. And as you can see, the, uh, the four of them together are a really nice looking set of figures, including our Sarge, who apparently isn't too worried about anybody being close by, because he's about to have a wee spy through the bins while smoking his pipe. So he's not worried about letting people know they're there. Uh, two guns carried loose, this one and the one that's shouldered, and then sort of one at the ready and one being fired. Uh, I suppose if you're gonna be using these as uh, something like rattlings, you can have all five firing if you want, because there's enough on the sprue. 
uh, well, across the sprues rather to do that or you can have the, the mix in there. Size wise they are from base to eye level around 21, 22 mil and 25, just shy of 25 to the top of the head. Uh, so relatively small but a nice looking set of snipers and I think if you're going to do these I would be tempted to just steal the packs so make a, a unit uh, of five with all with the big packs on them as if they're behind enemy lines doing the do taking care of the mission there is the standard setup if you want uh, with the close quarters weapon And these are very nice if you're planning on doing something like um, one page rules or Xenos Rampant um, or obviously at the end of the day death feels when it gets launched. But when you, uh, you're you just looking to run additional guys, there's no reason why your squads cannot all be uh, sneak feet. Something like Stargrave as well. These would be an interesting unit to drop into that. Not Maybe not a crew, but maybe something like the soldiers that um, appear on some planets as adversaries. Use the, uh, the sneak feet for something a bit different. A tiny world full of tiny people who get really annoyed when people point out their height. And then when you try and steal from them, they just start running and gunning. Uh, so there you go, say 24 sneak feet in a box and whether you want to run them as a tactical close quarters unit or your long range sniper team, uh, both are viable and both look absolutely terrific. All right then, a beautiful box set. Uh, if you're after a rattling slash halfling analog, uh, for your games of Grim Dark Future or 40k or in the future, Death Fields itself. Uh, it's a great box, nice options in there. The fact you can go completely ham with all of the sniper rifles is great, but also uh, being able to play them with uh, standard sort of assault weaponry means you can potentially field a whole army of them, which is really good. There's some cracking games out there, the likes of Xenos Rampant and um, one page rules as well, uh, which means you can build a force with whatever you want, really. It's up to you how you theme it. And so there's no reason not to have a whole bunch of little tiny sneak feet running around the place, taking all of the stuff and shooting all the people in the faces. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I, for one, am delighted. Until next time, bye bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.